Hey everybody, we are back with a vlog. We have a Voxnor headband. The, the headbands are brand new. They are super good to ride on Zwift, to ride on the rollers, to train indoors because it takes, it takes away the sweat dripping in your eyes. And when you get a headband, it's 10 euros for a headband. You support Quebeca and we all love Quebeca. Uh, next to that, I have a super cool PlayStation t-shirt. Um, it's for 90s kids. Um, but let's get to business. This vlog, we are talking about how to make the best possible uh, buy case with a cardboard, cardboard box. Um, very important because uh, I know it are hard times and people have no money for a bike box. Uh, that's why I have my cardboard bike box. Um, so let's go. Let's put, on, put it on, on play. And then I, I can tell you what, what I see. Oh, we're starting again. Here, here we are with my nice Ridley, Ridley Noah. And I have, I have a nice big bike box. I take my wheels out. Um, and then I put, put my, uh, my spacers in between the braking pads. Uh, important that uh, the brake calipers, they don't touch each other. And then I take some uh, elastic bands around my brakes. Like this is, is the best way to travel. I got some tips from mountain bike people uh, to do it like that. The only thing that I'm afraid of is my rear derailleur. I take it off, I wrap it in some newspapers and I tape it a little bit uh, in between the, the rear part of my bike. Like this, uh, there's no problem. And uh, when I tape it, the last part of the tape, I double wrap. This makes it really easy to unwrap the tape from my frame. Um, a good tip, a good tip from, from me. Then I take a big piece of, uh, of Easy Mo, we say, and I, I put it in the middle of the box. Um, this is to support the frame that you, it's a cardboard box and you don't want the, the chain rings to get through the box like this. As you can see, my frame is supported a little bit by this piece. And then uh, my frame is in, I don't have to uh, do anything with the handlebars, they are just straight. I take a, a wheel box and I cut it in half. Very interesting. I, I take some, uh, some tape to support the box that it's a bit uh, stronger. And then take a good look what I do. I put the two pieces at both sides of the bike. So I have separate places to put my wheels and my bike is also supported nice in the middle of the box. Um, I know you, you are all very, very um, excited for this. Then I, I, I support my, my disc rotors, my rotors uh, to break on. I put a nice piece that I found in my local bike shop. Bike shop. Like this, my rotors stay nice and straight. Uh, nothing can happen. But also with these bike boxes, the wheels, they are just nicely, they are, have no pressure, um, nicely tucked in there. The frame is, is super, uh, super well supported. Nothing, nothing can happen. Is my road a mic? Sorry, it's in, in side of the, sorry, small, small problem. <laughs> Not so professional. We are trying to get more professional, but um, we are hurrying for uh, JFK's bachelor party and uh, we are making this video in a rush. But as you can see, my bike is almost packed. It's almost packed, it's almost closed. But then I thought, oh, maybe I can do it just a little bit better. So I find some, some big sponges. I thought about some big sponges that I put around my handlebars. As you can see here, my handlebars, they cannot move anymore. And from any way there would be an impact, it wouldn't, won't touch my shifters. I also took care of it that my shifter, the button cannot be pressed. Uh, very nice. This is how, how you can make the best possible bike case with just cardboard. Very cheap. Uh, this is how you do it. Peace.